Hi everybody! So today in this video I'm going to talk about matter and what it is and the different states of matter and I'm going to do a demonstration and I'm also going to do an experiment. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. First let's start off with what matter is. Matter is something that takes up space and it has weight. And there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Some examples of solids are an apple, a book, a, um, a pencil. Some examples of liquids are water, juice, um, when a candle melts, the wax is liquid. So some examples of a gas are the air that's inside of a balloon, steam, like when you take a shower. So those are just a few examples of each state of matter. And now I'm going to talk about the shape and the volume of each state of matter. So when we refer to a solid, we're talking about a state of matter that has its own size and shape. So like this marker right here, it has its own size, its own shape. When we talk about a liquid, that is a form of matter that takes the shape of its container. So, like water, for example, when you pour water into a bowl, it takes the shape of the bowl. When you pour it into a cup, it takes the shape of the cup. So, when we are referring to a gas, we are talking about a form of matter that has no shape and it is hard to see. So, just like when we are talking about the air inside of a balloon, we can't see that. So, now I'm going to move over and show you a representation of the atoms in space within each state of matter. And I'm gonna do that by having a diagram and I'm gonna place beads on the diagram. So we're gonna move on to that now. So here is a drawing that I made, um, states of matter, and we're gonna be talking about the atoms in space when, within each state of matter. So for solid, I have, a, I have an apple right here. For liquid, I have a glass of water. And for gas, I have a balloon, referring to the air inside the balloon. I'm going to start by placing beads in the solid, or the apple, of this diagram. In a solid, the atoms are packed tightly together, and they're in a fixed position. an example of what the atoms would look like in an apple. We have all these beads packed tightly together. And they're fixed. They don't really move inside of the solid. Now we're going to focus on the atoms inside of a liquid. So in this, the atoms are close together, but they are able to move around. So let me start by placing some of these in here. So as you can see, they're not as packed together like in the solid. They're still close together, but they still have room to move around. They're not in the fixed position like they were in the solid. So now we're going to talk about the atoms inside of a gas. And so in a gas, the atoms move around completely freely. So they are not close together at all, which means they are free to move around. So that's what that would look like. So I just wanted to include this in the video. This is a digital anchor chart that I made, um, just so you can visualize everything that I talked about in this video about matter. Um, matter takes up space, it has mass, 
Then we have each state of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and then what I talked about earlier in the video for each state of matter. Solid has a definite shape and volume, molecules are packed tightly together, and they have a size and shape of their own. And then put some pictures of examples of solids and then what the molecules would look like. For liquid has a definite volume, molecules are packed loosely together and can move around, and they take the shape of a container. So have some orange juice or orange soda and some paint for examples of liquids and then a little image of what the molecules would look like in a liquid. You can see they're kind of moving around. And then for gas we have takes the volume and shape of the container, very loosely packed molecules that move around freely, and gases are hard to see. So we have an example of what the molecules would look like in the gas right there, and then we have a balloon and some steam coming off of something cooking. So this is just a visual for you all to help understand everything that I talked about in the video. So now that I've shown you the representation with beads and the atoms inside of each state of matter, I'm going to do a little experiment demonstration for you all with orange juice and baking soda. All right, so now I have my little setup here to show you the baking soda, the cup of orange juice, and I have a spoon. So now I am going to mix the baking soda with the orange juice. Just going to spoon it, just pour it into the spoon here, try not to make a mess, which is why I have a, oh goodness, so I have a towel down just in case anything happens. So now I'm going to pour this into the orange juice and we're going to see what happens. But before I do that, we're going to talk about what each thing is, what each state of matter each thing is that I'm using in this experiment. So the baking soda is a solid. The orange juice is our liquid. So let's find out what our gas is going to be. I'm going to stir a little bit. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you can see, we have bubbles on top. I have made a mess. Um, so this was a reaction between the baking soda and the orange juice. So the acid in the orange juice reacted with the baking soda, to be exact and it created the gas which is like carbonation in carbonated drinks so as you can see this is our gas it's like bubbles <laughs> and that is the experiment so now you can see that the solid was our baking soda our liquid was our orange juice which is still in the bottom down there and our gas is this this carbonation here, the reaction from the baking soda and orange juice. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!